Okay, so a little bit of uh, uh, things going on here with our new headway battery and our new um, charger. I'm just doing some little uh, improvements to the charger. Uh, things I now have to. Um, there we go. Just been doing some imp improvements to the charger hardware um, so as that it would uh, be just a little bit simpler, easier, and hopefully a bit more um, accurate. So, the first thing I've done here um, is I have changed the current sensor. Um, I had been employing a Honeywell. Uh, 50 amp um, Hall effect sensor and I decided to change that to a much simpler setup here with a Lemhas 50S current sensor hopefully be able to see that there and uh, that's a much simpler type of current sensor um, it's a direct 5 volt supply pass your current through a conductor that goes through the center hole there and uh, you get yourself um, a variable voltage that can be read by uh, the little micro controllers ADC uh, based in the, the little um, dev board here so the the um, only external parts that are or that are or Acquired the 10k resistor, it's a little quarter watt part, and I just put a little 0.1 cap um, across that there just to take out any kind of um, um, noise that would be induced on these unshielded cables here. And, uh, so far, it's been functioning very well. Um, the Voltage sensing uh, generally causes people a lot of uh, issues because you have to sense a high DC voltage. Um, as we can see here, we got uh, 17.9.6 volts on our uh, traction pack here, and uh, you obviously have to isolate that um, from the 5 volt. Uh, systems that you have on the little board here and the um, which will be uh, powered from a mains supply in the case of a charger or from a um, tw uh, uh, 12 volt auxiliary battery if this was a motor controller setup so in the case of the mains powered charger here which we've got some of the uh, basic hardware just actually set out here for it um, the problem is that uh, if you don't isolate your um, mains from your voltage sensing then essentially everything on your control board everything is basically at mains potential which is quite uh, bad so <coughs> there's a lot of different strategies for doing that but I think by far the simplest part uh, is on this little uh, piece of strip board here um, it's a LEM sensor again it's an LV25P um, isolated voltage sensor now the main disadvantage of this part um, from a simplicity point of view is that it needs a plus and minus 15 volts DC supply and uh, I've basically employed this little Traco DC DC converter here uh, <coughs> to provide those 15 volts uh, supplies uh, from uh, a nominal 12 volt output and uh, that's fed into the LV25P there as you can see there's not a lot of parts on this little board here um, it senses actually 
it's a it's more of a current sensor than it is a voltage sensor um, it's got a ratio of 2.5 to 1 in there and what it does is that it takes in um, a not 14 milliamp signal uh, from a high voltage source which in this case is our uh, traction battery and it takes that in via uh, a series resistor here you can see that little, little guy and um, it's a completely isolated I think it's up to two and a half kV um, <coughs> of, of uh, of galvanic protection in there and it basically spits out another current then and uh, we employ this little guy which is a little 200 ohm precision resistor there to actually convert that output current into a 0 to 5 volt signal um, that the um, again micro here can basically translate that into uh, into a, uh, <clears throat> a voltage and uh, display it on the screen here and also control the charging voltages um, via the PWM so as you can see here we're just basically hovering around the 17 point five point six point there which is uh, quite close indeed to what we have actual actual voltage there um, <coughs> so as you can see this is quite a simple setup now uh, the PWM comes out on those uh, blue and black um, cables there <coughs> and uh, this board senses voltage and our current uh, sensor here takes care of current and um, after that then it'll be just a case of uh, building it all up into a new charger um, which will this will be the power section I think for it I'm still kind of playing with it I'm not sure if that's the shape that I'll like um, I'll just have to uh, just have to um, I just kind of play with it see what kind of box I can get etc now the calibration of this um, is a bit of a concern because <coughs> it's going to come down to things like the resistor tolerances and uh, oh temperature and which sensor that you have and various other um, concerns so what I've done with the software here I'll try and hopefully show you this uh, this camera is going to be too happy with me but uh, the software here um, has got two values in the subroutine uh, that measures vo uh, current or sorry voltage as we can see there is measure volts okay so if we come down through that <coughs> well, it's, a, it's a very simple piece of software you can see that there's two values here um, there's a divide, or, or sorry, there's a multiply, which is the second line, and there's a di uh, there's a divide in there. And <coughs> changing the value, those that uh, 530 or 248 there, basically calibrates your voltage that you see on the screen here. Uh, which is at 17.6 which is again spot on but if we found that that voltage say um, say say that that was telling me a hundred volts uh, then what I would do is that I would come into this <coughs> piece of code here and I would go up to the 500 say that was 580 then I would change that and drop it down and that would cause the voltage that is displayed here to drop down or if I f if if this was perhaps telling me 60 volts 
uh, what I would do is <coughs> I would come in here uh, and I would either increase to 530 or decrease to 248 and uh, that gives me a lot of um, ability there to, to calibrate uh, and to get a very accurate voltage um, display here based on what we're, we're actually putting in uh, to the <coughs> putting into the um, sensor here so just to give you an example what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pan um, I'm going to just pan the uh, cable here just across the bus bars just to show you the various voltages and just how linear um, that this has actually turned out to be so I'll just focus on them on the um, multi meter here just to show you so our first bus bar 26.5 our second one is 53 and our third one there is obviously the 17 9.6 so if we do the same thing again uh, we do the same thing again with our uh, sensor cable here should be able to see what happens so there's 26.1 so there's 26.5 spot on we should be seeing 53 now on this one I think It's 52.5, it's close enough. 52.6. And if we go up to our final one again, there we should be back around. Uh, should we get it to stay on there? Here we go. And we're back to our 17.9.6 there. So over quite a span, um, you could see that that was, uh, was quite accurate. Uh, so that's just a little update on our charger design. Uh, it's just a, a simplification um, and just uh, making things sim uh, simpler and better. Um, so it'll hopefully be able to bring all this together fairly soon to uh, to to, to uh, basically finish up. Um, a new charger build, which will hopefully have the few im improved um, settings here built into it. Okay, that's it for now.